joy to the world indeed. Hi, my name is Tisha from 95.5 The Fish. Welcome to Hawaii Baptist Academy's very first TV Christmas concert. The theme of this year's show is a thrill of hope. The last two years have been very dark because of COVID. So we wanna bring you and your loved ones at home the hope of Christmas, which is Jesus. And what better way to do that than through the power of music, drama, and dance. We've got a great show for you tonight, so sit back and enjoy. My favorite thing about Christmas is presents. Presents are like something where you have like a box and you have like either stuff you want or stuff you need. Presents come from Santa Claus. I'm going to write a letter to Santa and I'm going to write for, ask for more hand sanitizer. Santa Claus is a guy who has a long white beard, has this big sometimes, and he has lots of servants that's named elves. Because in the book I heard that he likes cookies and pie. I actually know what the real Rudolph looks like because Santa sent me a picture and he also sent me how they can fly because they eat this special plant. Except all the reindeers are girls. Christmas wish from Hawaii Where the sands of Waikiki Shine white as snow 
sending you a wreath of aloha to brighten up your day. Kaliki Maka Kene. Singing you this Christmas wish from Hawaii. Lulu lights are all a go. Sending you a lay of aloha to brighten up your day. Mele kaliki maka ene. May your days be bright like the sun at Haleakala. From Hawaii, wishing you were here or I with you. Sending you this lay of aloha to brighten up your day. Christmas is all about hope. This holiday season, the students and the faculty at Hawaii Baptist Academy shared the hope of Christmas by giving back to two organizations. The first is Operation Christmas Child, which is hosted by Samaritan's Purse. Students filled shoe boxes with school supplies, hygiene products, and small toys and clothing. Most importantly, they prayed over the boxes, then asked God to bless the recipients. The boxes were then sent to children in need around the world. The students donated more than 600 boxes. The second project is Salvation Army's Angel Tree Program. HBA faculty and staff and some students and their families adopted local keiki to provide Christmas gifts. HBA is blessed to support these two organizations this year. Was that a dream? Did an angel really talk to me last night? He stood right there, I know he did. But if he was real, then the 
things he said must be true. <laughs> that means I'm going to have a baby. <laughs> oh, but Joseph! What if he doesn't believe me, and not just him? What about my parents and what will others say? But it has to be this way. Because that's what the prophecy says. God, I can't believe that you have chosen me out of the thousands of other girls who have come before me to finally bring our Messiah into the world. This is my purpose. This is what you have called me to do. I am the Lord's servant. I am the Lord's servant. So innocent, so brave, and so passionate. That's who Mary was. She knew that she had a call on her life. She knew that God had a purpose for her, and she lived it out. So I want to ask you, friend, do you believe that God has a call on your life? I heard once where it said that sometimes, most times, we won't change the whole world, but we can change somebody's world. And I believe that's what God wants to do through you. And I, I know it's hard. We're coming up to two years that we've been maneuvering through this pandemic, but there's been some glimmers of hope. Answered prayers. I can feel moms and dads still doing the little happy dance. Kids are back in school. Also, our economy is slowly getting back on track. So hang in there. Don't lose hope. That's what Christmas is all about. It's about the hope of Emmanuel. Emmanuel means God with us. God with us when the sun is shining and God with us when it, there's a storm. So our theme verse for our program comes out of the Bible, Isaiah 9 verse 6. And it's a famous passage because it's about Christmas. It's a prophetic word about Jesus' coming. And it says, for unto us a child is born, a son is given. The government shall be on his shoulders, and his name shall be Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. Yes, it's a Christmas verse, but it also should be a life verse. So my friends, our fight against COVID-19 is not identical to what the Israelites faced, the hardships and the struggles, but there's some similarities. You see in that verse, the prophet Isaiah was presenting a prophecy of hope to the Israelites. See, they were being faced with being kicked out of a foreign land. Uh, fear, anxiety was at its highest, and the enemy seemed to be growing in strength and number. Now, doesn't that sound familiar? This is my favorite part though, but God reassured them. Those two words, but God. But God reassured them that he would fulfill a promise that he kept in Genesis 3, that a descendant from Adam and Eve would and will crush the power of sin and the enemy. So what do we do? We celebrate, we celebrate because it's Christmas. We celebrate because it's the birth of Jesus. And we're reminded that God fulfilled his promise. He fulfilled that prophecy so we, you and I, could have hope for the future. So what do we do now? If you've never been to church, or maybe you've never, you haven't been for a while, could I encourage you that you would call a friend and say, can I join you at your Christmas service? They would be so thrilled that you called them. Also, HBA's website, there's a list of churches that the leaders and teachers go to can join them. I love this part. If you go to church, you have a home church, you have a Christmas service, would you consider being challenged right now that you would text somebody, call them, maybe jumping on social media and inviting them. You can also make some homemade cookies, get in the car, drive over to the house, knock on the door and go, here, here's some cookies. Would you come to my Christmas service? Now, with that in mind, if you know where I live, bring those homemade cookies to my house, please. But check this out they might say yes, but better yet, you're gonna give them the experience to meet the perpetual, never-ending hope that their soul is longing for, that can only be found in Jesus.
On behalf of all of us at HBA, Merry Christmas. Praise God for our amazingly talented students who are honoring and celebrating the birth of Jesus. We are blessed to have staff and faculty who lead by serving others in our community so that we all can experience the hope and joy Jesus brings this Christmas. In just a few moments, you will meet one of our teachers who is shining joy and hope with the world, despite her circumstances. We pray that you'll be inspired by her courage, strength, and faith in God. Hi, I'm Lynn Nakano, and I teach at Hawaii Baptist Academy, and this is my hubby, Warren. Originally, I thought I would be a public school teacher. Um, I saw education as the hope to give kids a good future. But when I got to HBA and I worked with teachers like mentors like Joyce Wong, um, and I saw how she loved kids um, from a deep relationship with Jesus, um, I knew that I was in the right place. The year after I came to HBA, I got married to my husband, Warren. I was pleased when God called him to start a church. Um, and we've been doing ministry together for the last 21 years. So I wanted to start a church that would be faithful to following God's word and the body would become what it's described in the Bible. So we've been working for a total transformation of people and we've been seeing it happen. I went to see my doctor and she told me that the kidney cancer that I previously had had spread to my lungs. And um, I asked her if it was terminal, and she said yes. And I was stunned. And I asked her, how long do I have to live? And she said, 12 months. And I was shocked. I felt like I was punched in the gut with the reality of something so huge. And I was not prepared to hear that. And I know that the most difficult and devastating thing for Lynn would be if she lost me. But what she said next was totally surprising to me because what she said was, he is the best man. I wanna take him to everyone I know. She said that to the doctor. So instead of Lynn being devastated, she became excited about a new mission for us to have together, that we could reach people that we couldn't reach before because she was always working and that she would take a year off to join me and reaching out to people that she knew from HBA. And that was exciting and totally surprising to both of us. I don't know how long I have to live. I, uh, I just know that my priorities have not changed because they always have been to serve God. My hope is for everybody watching this that they would take God totally seriously and find out a life of freedom is in following God and doing His will, not in making yourself happy or your family happy or getting what you want on earth. And Christmas is about living a whole different life because God gave His life to save us. We've heard the tide will never change 
Dear God, please help us have a good day. Help us be kind and look for kindness in others. Guide us in our studies and in everything that we do. We pray that you help all the people that are going through a hard time, such as coronavirus, spoken bones, and other things. Please help us know that you are with us. That you are with us. That you are with us. Amen. Amen.